All right, people, Mike Saladin here again. Welcome back to another Mass Effect news update. Today, it's N7 day, the 7th of November, 2022. As expected, Bioware have put out a little news update uh, about the upcoming Mass Effect game. It's just a small teaser, a bit like last year. They haven't really announced a lot of stuff or shown off much of the game. I guess some people will be a bit upset by that. They're hoping to see more by now. But for me, I was kind of expecting a low-key, another low-key update. Because at the moment, of course, Bioware are still mainly working on Dragon Age. Uh, the uh, Dreadwolf game. They're probably mainly focusing on that. And the next Mass Effect is going to be in very early development still, I would guess. So I wasn't expecting anything huge. But I can understand if like another year has gone by and some fans are a bit like okay we need another teaser trailer at this stage and unfortunately we haven't got that but we did get a small short clip posted out by the Bioware uh, and Mass Effect Twitter account just a little 25 second clip of what appears to be a Mass Effect relay that I think is being uncovered or rebuilt although I have seen it suggested that this could be Mars and this is the very first ever Mass Effect relay that humanity uncovered when they first got to Mars and that's what could be being shown here in this concept art um, it does look like a Mass Effect relay that has uh, been found it says MR7 in black and orange writing on the uh what i'm going to call the mass effect relay itself and in the background of this video there's a lot of strange audio and what sounds to me like some sort of code uh, i'm afraid i can't play it right now during this video uh, because i'm a bit worried about any copyright situation so i'm just going to speak over some old uh mass effect 3 gameplay where i was at the arena uh, just practicing. I uh, hope people are all right with that and uh, I'm sure everybody's seen the clip themselves and they know what I'm talking about right now but there is a very strange sort of crackling and audio and tapping sounds in the background of this little clip um, so uh, there could be it could be a new Mass Effect relay or it could be the original one that humanity found on Mars um, it's got the Cerberus colours, that white and orange, so it could be something to do with them. Maybe this relay is something they're trying to build. Uh, I don't think it's anything to do with Andromeda at the moment. Uh, but it does seem to be in the Milky Way. Again, I think this could be Mars, this relay we're looking at. Uh, it's the MR7. The letter, I mean, that could stand for Mass Relay 7 or something like that. This could be a new kind of Mass Effect Relay. Uh, I'd really like uh, people's thoughts below in the comments what they think this Mass Effect Relay could be. Um, there's some text in the bottom left of the uh, little clip. And there's some stuff in there that says Construction Record Monitoring st Station Operation. Uh, it's a bit hard to read this, but yeah, it could be some sort of outpost that Cerberus has built, or something like that. Uh, it could be the Mass Effect relay that has been rumoured to uh, bridge the Milky Way with Andromeda, because a lot of people have speculated that in the next Mass Effect they're going to do their best to tie Andromeda into the original trilogy a bit better. Uh, and sort of make sure fans of Andromeda, as they do exist, I know it wasn't a very popular game, but some people out there do uh, did enjoy Andromeda, and uh, Bioware don't want to abandon those people, uh, so I can understand uh, wanting to sort of bring the Milky Way, fan, the fans of the Milky Way trilogy, as I'm going to call it, and the Andromeda Mass Effect, I can see them wanting to bring all those fandoms together, and make sure they, you know, get as wide of an audience as possible for the next Mass Effect uh, because this really has to be a big hit when it comes out the reputation of the series has been going down a bit ever since the end of Mass Effect 3 
and then Andromeda was a real low point for a lot of people. But the legendary edition of the trilogy it really brought in so many new fans, really reminded the old fans why they enjoyed the game. And I think it also had people uh, appreciate Mass Effect 3 a lot more. Even though it still has a lot of issues, Mass Effect 3 in my opinion, I do think people are a lot kinder to it now after experiencing Andromeda, which I wasn't a huge fan of that game, but I do know some people enjoy it. So that could be why uh, Bioware want to maybe bring in Andromeda into this next Mass Effect game. Uh, some people think it could just be an outpost or a base uh, and not really a Mass Effect relay or it could be a ship design, a ship that's being uh, in progress that's being worked on. Uh, so there's a lot of theories going around, uh, people don't really know exactly what it is and I'm quite happy that they're slowly teasing out this game. And they're not just uh, making a lot of huge promises right away that the game's gonna be like this, we're gonna be doing this, this and this. And promising way too much, way too early, getting people way too hyped. They're slowly teasing this out. Um, they're sort of drip feeding information, uh, letting people speculate a lot, build some theories, build some momentum, getting the community talking. I understand some people would like it to go a bit faster and you know have a proper second trailer by now but I think it could be a while before we start getting more stuff like that. So yeah, thanks for watching people. Uh, sorry I couldn't put the actual clip of this new Mass Effect Relay on to this video because again I was just a bit worried about copyright stuff. But hopefully everybody's seen it and they know what I've been rambling on about here and they'll uh, let me know down below what you thought about this clip.